Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So the Trump administration has come under fire because of its immigration policy. In order to deter illegal immigration, the Trump administration began separating children from their families. And because of that, a lot of people have criticized the Trump administration. People have made all kinds of statements condemning this practice. And eventually the Trump administration caved under pressure and they decided to sign an executive order preventing this from happening in the future. According to the reports that I read, like 2,000 children have been separated from their families because of this Trump administration policy. And there's a possibility that they may return to this policy. And I just wanna talk about my position on this issue. And I wanna talk about like some of the basic reactions that I've seen. I haven't watched many of these other videos that black YouTubers have posted, but just from the titles, you can tell that many of them have no sympathy for illegal immigrants. They don't have any sympathy for these children. In fact, they are condemning black politicians who have expressed sympathy for these illegal immigrants. So here's my position, man. You know, obviously in the ideal world, people would immigrate to this country legally, but I don't think that even if someone has illegally immigrated to this country, I think that it is fundamentally wrong, fundamentally unjust and inhumane to separate children from their families. And black people should be the first people to understand the inhumanity of this. They should, we should be the first ones to understand how unjust this is, given the fact of our history, given the fact that black people were separated from their families during slavery, where they would destroy families, sell off our children, strip mothers and fathers from their children, husbands from their wives, you know, destroying the black family. And here we have a Trump administration that is ripping apart families in order to justify, in order to perpetuate this crackdown on illegal immigration. And we have to understand what's driving this crackdown on immigration, on illegal immigration. It's driven by white supremacist logic. You have these white supremacist groups that fear the browning of America. They fear so-called white genocide. So they don't want people of color coming to this country. They don't want Mexicans and other people from Central and South America coming to this country. They don't want black people coming to this country. They don't want people of color coming to this country. They want America to be a white country. That's what they want. And that is the main reason why you have groups like the KKK supporting Donald Trump. This is the main reason why these neo-Nazis support Donald Trump. That's the reason why, because of his crackdown on illegal immigration, which is nothing but dog whistles for these white supremacists that want to keep America white. And that's what they mean when they talk about making America great again. They're talking about making America white again, and they want to push out people of color. And for those of you that think that this is some Latino issue, you're sadly mistaken because this same president who called Mexicans rapists and criminals, this same president referred to the African continent as a shithole. Where did you come from, brother? Where did you come from, sister? You came from Africa, and that's how that man views you. He views you as coming from a shithole place. This man referred to Haiti as a shithole country. This man has no respect for black people. And often, as I have said repeatedly, the same people that hate the immigrants are the same people that hate black people. And the last thing we need to do is co-sign white supremacists by having the same anti-immigrant mentality that these white supremacists have. The last thing that we need to do is abandon our humanity in search of a fake definition of what it means to be pro-black. Being pro-black doesn't mean you're anti-immigrant. Being pro-black doesn't mean you're anti-white and anti-anything that's not black. How can you expect people to be concerned about your humanity, to recognize your humanity when you don't recognize the humanity of others? How can you expect people to recognize your suffering and your pain when you don't recognize the suffering and the pain of others? So... I'm glad that the president 
you know, reversed his policy. And I think that this is an example of how people have the power to impact policy by voicing their opposition to the things that this man does. And I think that, you know, these immigration issues, these are opportunities for coalition between black people and the immigrant community. In exchange for our support for immigrants, we need to have a situation where they support us on issues like police brutality, on issues like affirmative action, on issues like voting rights. And you see many of these coalitions already formed, coalitions that have been in place for decades between various civil rights organizations, between black and Latino organizations. People that are about organizing, people that are about actually changing policy instead of entertaining folks on YouTube, those people that are about the work understand the importance of coalitions. The people that are about entertaining you with hate-filled rhetoric and hype, they don't value coalitions. But anyway, I just had to share my thoughts, man. Um, you know, it's a, a damn shame that we live in a country where this kind of stuff continues to happen. And, you know, as I've seen before, like there are these memes up basically saying that this is not some policy that's un-American because, again, this is something that they have been doing a long time, destroying families, destroying the black family, separating families, ripping families apart, separating children from their parents and men from their women. This is what America has done. And you know, it's just a shame that this stuff is continuing in 2018, where you have a president that has no integrity, a president that has no class, a president that has no honor. Past presidents, they dealt with the problem of illegal immigration, but they realized that their ethics and their sense of honor and self-respect would not allow them to separate children from their parents. But here you have a man in office who has no integrity, who has no sense of self-respect or shame, a man who doesn't care anything about human rights and civil rights. So it was easy for this man to rip apart families. It's outrageous, man. And anybody that is a person of conscience, anybody that has any kind of sense of humanity needs to stand up and speak out against this Trump administration.